So I talk a lot about low testosterone and especially low testosterone levels in the younger male population today and how common it is. And so a lot of people want to know, well, well, why? We always thought of it as an old man's problem. The older you get, sure, it gets lower. You're going to need to go on replacement. But as I point out repeatedly now, it's the young male population that is almost universally deficient to a point where they have clinical symptoms and they really, really need replacement and, and support. The reason it's happening <clears throat> in, a, in a word are, is chemicals. So artificial molecules that human beings started to create and pump into our world to make our lives more easy and efficient. Detergents and preservatives for foods so they can sit on the shelf for months, you know, making our clothing fancy colors, toothpaste that whitens your teeth, all this stupid shit to make, you know, life easier, more efficient, more fun in some way or another. These chemicals, they end up in the water, the food, the air, through our skin and our cosmetic products. They're just ubiquitous now. And there are more than 80,000 man-made chemicals in the world. Some of them have plenty of science that proves that they interfere with hormone production. Testosterone, in that case, if you, if you go to PubMed, which is a public website for actual real medical research, not Facebook or Instagram or assholes like me on social media who just say things, by all means, please fact check all of us, please. If we go to PubMed and just search, you know, testosterone deficiency and then pick your favorite chemical. One you should all look up is glyphosate, which is Roundup. So the weed killer Roundup, the primary chemical constituent there is glyphosate, G-L-Y-P-H-O-S-A-T-E. Um, that one, there's one study I found that I always present in lectures that they showed the a human testicular tissue culture, and they put one part per million of glyphosate in the solution that it was, that the cells were living in. And that one part per million of that one chemical reduced the testosterone production of those cells by 30%, by close to a third. That's one chemical.